Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. And I am at the Habitat Thrift Store with my sisters. Actually, just my one sister, Carrie. Her boys and then obviously my girls. And this is our absolutely favorite thrift store. And I know you guys see it a lot, but we come here probably two times a week. And you either find nothing or you find so much. This was a beautiful uh, vase. I love it. I would have bought it, but I do not like hearts. So I put it back, but I think it was like crazed and everything. It was really pretty, but I don't do hearts. Violet found me a swan, um, but I have several, or is that a duck? Swan or duck. I didn't like its little, um, beak. So I just, I put it back. I didn't find too much here today. But honestly, if you don't go regularly, I had to say that slow, um, you, you can miss out on just some of the most wonderful treasures. This huge buffet right here, I think would be absolutely gorgeous painted in a kitchen. And if I had room for it, I would buy it. I think it's like $150. I think it has such potential and it's been there quite a while. I always check the books because I love old books and sometimes when I pop in just at random, I find old books. But today I didn't. Actually, there was one. I walked right past it. Of course, Carrie found it. Carrie found a beautiful basket. Carrie always finds the best stuff. And yeah, so I went to the pictures because you never know and I'm always on the lookout for silhouette pictures, um, floral pictures. And, but today I didn't find anything. So, um, my nephew is so musically inclined. If Carrie would put him in piano lessons, he would literally excel. But anyways, they had a cute rocking chair. Um, I went, I, there's a little nookie book area off to the corner and it's like recipe books. And um, I always forget they have it, but today I remembered, so I thought, well, I better check. There could be a vintage cookbook, but there was nothing. I think I picked up like two or three items today from this store. So let's keep shopping and see if you can see anything you would purchase. We have left the Habitat and now we are at the Junkie Thrift Store as we call it. And the girls will get down on the lower shelves for me and go through all the plates and dishes to see if we can find any ironstone. They know what it looks like and they know what to look for in the stamps in the back. And they have uh, thrifting running very deep in their veins. And they really, really love it. In fact, if I go thrifting, say they're at my mom or my sister's and I run into a thrift store, they're like, Violet will say, you went about me. And that means you went without me. She just loves it. And so does Viv. So we are at the junkie thrift store and we are on the lookout for anything that is vintage and that pops out to us. Thank you. 
I really thought this piece of furniture has such potential. And if I didn't have so much on my plate right now with redoing my bedroom, I probably would have bought it. It was $40. Um, I thought those pillows to the left there were um, so Ralph Lauren. Uh, I didn't see any pillows that just really stood out to me that were my style. Those kind of look like my sister Carrie, and I probably should have got them for her, but I didn't. And I'm on the lookout for a Cal Keen um, down feather comforter for my duvet. If I find one, I'm just going to bleach it and put it in the hot dryer and I think it would be fine because I don't, I'm not going to sleep with my duvet. It's only for looks. I have Titus trained very well to roll back the comforter or the duvet to the very end and my comforters or duvet stay looking new for years because we are very careful with them and so is Titus. He's very good about that. So if I can find a calking, you know, feather comforter to put in my duvet for 20 bucks, that's what I'm going to do instead of spending like $150. So we're on our way home. Let's see what I found. I have a big little thrifted haul and one item is from the um, from an antique store that I purchased it from, but it's old and it's Still secondhand, so I consider it thrifted, but it is bought from an antique store. And then one item is from Target, but you'll see what I'm going to do with it in my bedroom makeover. And um, so I'm so excited because I got all my furniture in my bedroom, and now I just have to, like some finishing details on my bedroom makeover, which is I have stuff to make the beams, and Titus has to hang them, and then he has to finished painting some trim we hung and he's hanging my curtains tonight I think and I am really excited because these curtain rods are absolutely gorgeous that I ordered from Ballard Design and if you've never ordered from Ballard Design um, and you want good quality items or decor because their stuff is amazing I bought a table and chair set there when I was first married and so that's 15 years ago and I've used these chairs outside I've used them for school um, because I don't have them in my kitchen anymore and they're still as sturdy as a rock and nothing is wearing on them. So um, my curtain rod is from Ballard Design and it's, I love the finials at the end. They're like a big marble ball. They're huge. They're like this big. So um, I might insert a clip and let you guys see it. Um, I don't know, but let's get on with the thrift haul. And I'll start with... Um, sorry, my back is sore from moving furniture. Me and Tara had to move the furniture in because Titus was at work, so my back is a little bit tight. But I got this basket for two dollars. And I really like the shape of it. And it's pretty big. Um, I think it's gonna look gorgeous hanging from the beams in my bedroom with like rosemary dried out in it or something or even just sitting with a bunch of flowers coming out that's all dried out. Um, I have a vision of herbs hanging from my beams, but I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. I just see it down in my head. It's so hard to explain to people. This was $2, by the way. It's so hard to explain to people because I see stuff in my head without it being done. But once I start putting things together, then it's like it starts coming out of my head. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyways, that was $2 and I loved it. Um, I found this. I'll show you this item first because this is what I'm talking about that I'm going to be using something that I bought new. This is quite heavy. And I bought this for $9. Let's just see up close. So the base is about that big. I got this for $9. Actually, I got it for $5 because it was $9 and she gave it to me for less. And I had been thinking I would like to get like a planter like this, but I didn't want to buy one new because planters are so expensive. And I have been collecting these little guys from Target, which are absolutely beautiful. And they are pretty expensive, but I just, just buy them like casually. They're like $27 for a thing. But... As you know, uh, fake flowers are very expensive and these look really 
real. Let me show you. So they have the little stick that you just stick in and these are gonna come out. I still have it wrapped. So what I thought about doing is I have several and I love them. I think they're so pretty. I don't know. I haven't did it yet, so I don't even know how it's going to work. But I thought about putting dirt in this and then just getting these and clustering them together inside of the uh, inside so the bulbs are sticking out all around. So you really won't see the dirt. Really, you'll just see the the fake bulbs. And I absolutely love them. I still have to order two more or three more. But um, like I said, I'm not going to be decorating my bedroom for another couple weeks because my husband's dog food is being delivered. How funny. He gets, um, my husband is sponsored for dog food at on his channel, so it's being delivered. I can see out the window. Anyways, it seems like every time I'm videoing my sister's call. All right, I went to an estate sale and I found Ironstone. Oops, it's making a loud noise. I'm going to take, there we go. It's pretty big this is my hand so you can kind of see um, it was $14 and they gave it to me for 10 and it's really really pretty I'm going to show you the lid up close so it's really like uh, the detail is really pretty on it it has like scallops going up right there or like a no not scallops more like a I don't know a, what would you guys call that I'm sure you guys can see it a pleat maybe I know this design is probably called something and I just don't know it um, it's made in England and it's ironstone so I really really was excited to find that I think it's gonna go really well in my kitchen with all my ironstone that I'm slowly collecting secondhand. Makes a funny noise. I got several books there at that estate sale. This is the first Thanksgiving. And it's like an orange colored book. It's really, really pretty on the inside. Whoops, hold on, sorry. Huh. Oh, it's 1942. It's really cute inside. So I thought that'd be cute, just stacked with all, all my old books I'm collecting. Um, this is called Emily's Quest by L. M. Montgom Montgomery, Montgomery, and I believe she's the same lady who wrote who wrote Anna Green Gables. It's so cute. Inside it says Catherine from Jim. Like how cute is that? Christmas. You know, uh, sorry, Christmas. At 1927, the 25 threw me off. I was thinking 25 because it just says 25, but they meant the 20, you know, Chris, the 25th. Hold on. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's so cute. Like I just think that is absolute. When I see handwritten stuff in books, it literally makes my heart skip a beat. And I just, I don't know, I get this like feeling in my heart. I just find it so intriguing that, you know, Jim gave this to Catherine in 1927 for Christmas. Like that's so, makes me like so, like feel sad and sweet all at the same time. And the copyright is 1927 as well. I got this really, the sun is my undoing. It's all faded, but I think it's even prettier faded pretty thick. Hold on, let me find a copyright for you guys. My neck is all tight too from moving furniture. Well, I don't see a copyright, but I mean, it looks pretty old. Oh, 1941 right here. And all these books were a dollar. So I got this book to go with my collection. I showed you the ironstone piece. Here comes the big, big, big item and a big purchase. Hold on. I don't even know if I can lift it. Give me a sec. I'm gonna get up and get it, okay? Oh, it's heavy. I don't wanna break it. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna see if I can hold this up. My back is kinda sore from doing my furniture. Okay, I was antique storing with my sister and walked by a window and I seen this basket instantly and I walked straight to it 
and I asked the lady who works there um, it, what it was. And she's all, it's a vintage, it's an old, um, she said from the 1800s, a bee skip. And I had never heard of a bee skip. I have seen them on like Emma or Sense and Sensibility or like Pride and Prejudice, but um, I, I never like seen, I didn't put two and two together, but this is what it is. So let me see if I can lift it. Hold on. I might just have to set it down and video it for you guys because it's so, ah! So big, so um, I might just give it, get it, give a shot of it, so you guys can see it. But it's on a. Hold on, let me turn it around because it actually has the holes where the bees went inside to do their little job. So see the holes where the bees went in. It's all black inside where the bees were working. Sorry, guys. It's pretty big, so it's bigger than what it looks. The top of it is absolutely gorgeous. So it just kind of wraps around like this and then comes to a point right here at the very end. And that is my vintage bee skip. And I want to put this in my bedroom, I think, or in my entryway. I haven't quite decided. Once I get my bedroom done, I will know if I am going to do this in my bedroom. I'd like to put it by the slider like you were fixing to pick it up and take it outside and put it underneath a tree to let the bees work. Um, it's absolutely stunning in person. It's pretty big. Um, maybe I can lift it up again. So, I mean. I could wrap my whole arm around it and I have pretty long arms. So let me move this out of the way because it's so heavy and so big. Give me just a second ladies. Oh and I paid three. I had some money saved so I paid I think I paid like three fifty eight for it. Somewhere in between there, I can't remember, I bought it at Vintage Market and my sister was like, that is absolutely stunning, but she's just more on the tighter side. Like she's, she's, she would rather find this like dirt cheap and not, and then, then rather not find it at all. So I am more like, I'd rather pay the money when I see something and buy it if I have the money, because I absolutely loved it instead of waiting and hoping I found one. But I know some of you are probably thinking that's way too expensive and that's totally okay. My sister thinks the same thing, but even though she thinks it's stunning, but I guess I'm willing more to splurge on certain items um, that I absolutely want and that I feel like this would be really hard to come by, but maybe it's not. Maybe where you're from, you've seen them before. I have never seen them before, but it's stunning. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, I absolutely loved it. So I hope you enjoyed this small, big haul and... Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.